In this video, I'm going to discuss the real reason why you're not having success in affiliate marketing. And I'm going to keep this video real, kind of raw, straight, and direct. But let me give you some statistics that are not only shocking, should kind of anger you a little bit. But I'll just I'll just throw some, some quick statistics by you. More than 70% of the U.S. population lives paycheck to paycheck. So there's three big markets in affiliate marketing or online, right? And that's health, wealth, and relationships. So over 80% of people in the U.S. are living paycheck to paycheck. Not doing very good in that area. Let's talk fitness, right? I come from a fitness background. I own a gym for 10 years, work with hundreds of people, help them get into shape, transition into online business. Over 50 to 60% of the population is considered obese, not doing so great in that big area, right? Now let's just talk relationships. Over 50% of the people who get married, who swear before God himself, till death do us part, ultimately end up breaking off that marriage or quote unquote failure from what they decided from the start. Right, So those are the three big areas that we talk about online, especially in affiliate marketing, right? Health, wealth, relationships. And let's just be honest, people are mediocre. People overall, and this is the US we're talking about, and, and it's probably a good indicator of what happens all over the world, are mediocre, are failing, are not having success in the big areas in life that we want to have success in. And I'm going to tell you why. It's nothing to do with affiliate marketing, the step-by-step -step strategy. The step-by-step -step strategy exists all over the internet. It's, it's all over YouTube. More in affiliate marketing than any other niche that exists. Literally every single person, free content, walk you step-by-step -step through the strategy to do affiliate marketing. 95% of beginner affiliate marketers fail. The information is all it's all over the internet. Okay, everyone knows don't eat this, do eat this, go to the gym and exercise, yet over 60, 50 to 60 percent of the population is obese and, and overweight, unhealthy. Everyone knows. My grandmother knows it, right? Yet people still can't execute on the things that we want. We can't change. We are literally telling ourselves. Consciously, I want to do a thing, and somehow we just wake up every single day in the same patterns that aren't serving us, right? Like how long? How long have you actually sat here telling yourself you're going to change your life, you're going to change your financial situation, you're going to have success in affiliate marketing, and day after day you wake up finding yourself doing the same thing that you did yesterday? I'm going to tell you why. It has everything to do with your self-image. You cannot outperform your self-image. What does that mean? Your ability to see yourself greater than where you're at right now doesn't really work that well. Because if it did, you would have better results in those areas. We all would, right? And a, and a, a quick indicator of your self-love, your self-image, what you actually believe about yourself at an unconscious level is to quite simply look at the results that you have in your life. And if you look at those results and they're not really good, well, my friend, at an unconscious level, forget what you think on the, on the, the, the front of the brain, okay? On the conscious level, what you believe at an unconscious level is that you deserve exactly what you have right now. And how do, how do I know this? I have to tell you how I know this, right? Like I know this because I've spent at least the last 20 years, trying to figure out what's going on with me at an unconscious level, working on mindset or these strategies and techniques to improve my ability to have success in life. Why? Because I grew up in crazy situations. You know, my father got sick. I was two years old. My father got sick, went into a wheelchair. My mother took off, abandoned him, took me and my brother across the country. She was a drug addict on crystal meth. She uh, she had us around all these crazy people, drug houses, crazy boyfriends. One violent night, the cops come take us away. We go into foster homes for five years. These are my formative years. And after that, 
after I leave foster homes, I come to live with my grandparents. I was raised by my grandparents. And I lived with my father, who was in a wheelchair. He couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. I spent 20 years watching my father slowly uh, die, so to speak, right? And my grandfather, he was very abusive, very abusive, very aggressive, uh, not nice. So I grew up in, a, in a, an environment where no one really supported it said anything positive to me like and when i tell you this i i can't make this shit up yeah i don't think the words i love you were ever even uttered in my my household right so you think about the the conditioning and this is you know again this is let's talk neuroscience and, and science and things that are proven by now most of your identity what you believe about yourself your beliefs your personality are formed in your formative years from zero to eight so most of what you do now is just a repetitive pattern that you think you have control over but you really don't you really don't most of it was formed back then so we'll, we'll call that 70 to 80 percent the other 10 uh, the other 20 or 30 percent is formed uh in the in the years later right what you learn in in life going forward and arguably another 10 percent of it is uh from past lifetimes in your dna called epigenetics things that came from your ancestors from your parents and go into your into your genetics into your dna and and cause you to think and feel certain things that you can't even explain aren't even from this lifetime okay and that's called epigenetics right so here's the here's the big point here 95 percent of what goes on in your day in your in your health in your fitness in your finances okay when it comes to affiliate marketing when it comes to executing a plan when it comes to your relationships the the patterns that are operating are old patterns you think that you have control over what you do, but you don't have control over what you do. Your subconscious mind makes a decision eight seconds before your conscious mind even gets to it. And think about it again. Like how long have you been wanting to do what you want to do, right? And then find yourself waking up every day in the same patterns, thinking about the same things, ruminating about the same the same problems, having the same emotions over and over and over. You think you have conscious control, but my friend, you do not. You do not. None of us do. And again, it's real It's real easy to figure out because the only thing that you need to kind of look at are your results. And your results are a really great indicator of what you believe about yourself at an unconscious level. Your self-identity at an unconscious level. So let's talk about, you know, again, like how do you fix these things? The, the, the simple answer is, is through self-hypnosis right the the way that you change is you need to get into your subconscious mind and create a new image a new picture a new higher version of yourself you need to see think and feel these things your self talk needs to improve uh you need to practice 100% hyper self awareness on a re regular basis so you can even figure out what is going on in your unconscious mind Again, how do I know this? My life was a complete fucking shit show. Up until age 20, I was a, a fucking mess, a mess of an individual. And the last 20 years, I've, I've slowly and progressively changed myself more and more to believe in myself, to see a higher version of myself, to be a higher version of myself. And uh, the reason that I'm telling you this and the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because affiliate marketing is cool. I love the business model. I think it's awesome. But... If you don't change your unconscious patterns, if you keep doing the same stuff every day, if you keep believing the same things at an unconscious level, again, unconscious, unbeknownst to you because you think you're controlling things at a, at a, at a conscious level, um, those are the areas that we need to focus on. So I'm going to be talking more about that on this channel, also giving a lot of affiliate marketing and, and marketing and sales advice here. But talking about the things that I think really help people change because I don't think we're doing a great job. And again, I was, I was in fitness, you know, I was in fitness for, for 10 years. And if people, you know, there's fitness experts all over, there's, there's wealth experts all over, there's relationship experts all over. But if you look at the numbers, men lie, women lie, the numbers don't, the numbers don't. So I could talk about affiliate marketing all day till I'm blue in the face. 
But if you don't change, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't see a higher version of yourself and you see it so often and think it, believe it and feel it so often that it actually starts to, crazy word here, manifest in your life, um, you're, you're going to struggle to change. You're going to continue to do those same habits and patterns that you've been teaching yourself and ingraining Okay, ingraining in your in your DNA, in your in your person, in your psychology, right? Um, in your neuropsychology, right? These are actually patterns that you've grooved over the course of the years. If you don't set about going to change those things, more than likely, you're going to end up doing the same patterns over and over again. So again, I could talk about affiliate marketing until I'm blue in the face, but unless we change the subconscious identity and do the, the, the mental work, the mental and emotional work, the stuff that I've been working on, you know, most of, of the last 20 years to improve myself, can't say I'm exactly where I want to be, but I'm certainly going there because I know these strategies and, and techniques um, that can really help you transform and help you change. So uh, head down below, man. Drop me a comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Doesn't mean we ain't going to talk affiliate marketing. Doesn't mean we ain't going to talk business. Business is the vehicle that can literally change your life and change your lifestyle. Uh, but we're going to start to add in um, these high performance mental and emotional strategies to help you guys uh, really get to where you want to go. So again, drop me a comment if this resonates with you. And of course, subscribe to this channel and uh, look out for uh, more content just like this. Peace.